people ask me, what do you, Sammy, what do you think? I think it's the most, one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. arrest has rocked the celebrity world, and the reactions are insane, especially the last one. First, 50 Cent, a king of clapbacks, joked that he doesn't have a thousand bottles of baby oil in his house, but it gets even crazier. Foxy Brown hinted that more drama is on the way. Now held without bond in a Brooklyn jail cell at the center of lawsuits, raids on his home, and now a scathing federal indictment. Anna, watching the headlines, the stories. When they take all the evidence they have and they bring it to a, a judge, a federal, in this case, it's gonna be a federal judge, was a woman. And uh, the woman goes through all of the judge, goes through all of that facts, looks at it, and she's supposed to say whether there's gonna be bail or not. She turned around and said, no bail. She was convinced that he's dead, he's finished. So there's no bail in the world she wants to put out. They're given all kinds of proposals, but that's what it tells what a judge says no bail. She could have given him bail, high bail. He's so dead that it's obvious to the judge. That's a signal. It's not a law, but it's a signal. He's got no bail. And then there's an indictment of when they first raided his house and what they have now and all of these things. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This guy, there's not enough years to give him. They won't stop. A thousand bottles of baby oil. And what's the other? Lubricants. Lubricants. All right, those two things. Then they're beating them up boys, girls, men. He brings in male prostitutes, stars, whoever they are, and they're abusing these people over and over again, different ways, different things, drugging them with drugs, all kinds of drugs now, as I hear, and guns. Automatic guns, that's like a machine gun. And when you file the thing off, that's an, every, everything he has done is another crime. There's no doubt any jury in their right mind is gonna find this guy repulsive and guilty. He's indicted under the RICO law. It is one of the toughest laws to be. We face that in organized crime, mafia guys. You're almost always convicted. They take the whole structure Everybody who's involved. In other words, they could have used a girl and a guy. Go pick up those kids and bring them here. Now, they may not have done anything themselves physically, but under the RICO law, they're involved. They're going to get pinched. So a lot of them are going to get pinched. A lot of them didn't do anything, but they're part of it, especially under the RICO law. They're going to face the same time, everything. I would imagine right now, I would bet. Minimum half of them are gonna rep, are gonna say everything they know. So he's got all of this evidence against him, videos, recordings, you name it. The government has never had a case this powerful in their lives. And you add that now with the RICO law and now people ratting on him. What is his answer to this? I saw a video today that he is threatening people trying to make them use their power and connections to stop this or get rid of it. He's in MCC, the same prison Jeffrey Epstein himself or died. I was in that same prison MCC, in that same unit. It's locked down. Maybe not the same cell, but I know the whole situation there. The walls have cracks. I used to say cigarettes, shoot at the cracks of these big. And mice use them. They run around the whole place. What he's done to those people, he's getting it back tenfold. I think he's about 50 years old. Bro, you ain't got enough years left in your life. He's mentioning all of these people, J-Lo, Will Smith, all of these people were at his parties. 
and they called the parties a freak off. You could come in and freak out like you've never freaked out in your life, bro. Wow. And he's going to expose them all. Now, he's probably going to tell the government, give me some sort of a deal, and I'll rat on everybody. I understand there's religious people, politicians, actors, actresses, you name it. Fatso is in these parties. We all like her. Oprah's such a good woman. She's a degenerate. I always knew that about her. What really bothered me about her, she owned a big place in Hawaii. There was a fire. Her place wasn't touched for whether God wanted to stop it or she knew it was happening or whatever. She had police there, security there, firemen there, water. People were running to get out of the fire and get to her place. She wouldn't allow it. Then she wanted to raise money for them, not her money, but everybody else's money. What kind of an animal is she? One, not only the money. You wouldn't open your home to them? Yeah, come on, get in, get in the barn, get this hose, let's do this, let's do that. She's an animal. We'll see what happens with her and all of these people. Justin Bieber. Seems like he's a good looking kid, you're a nobody. What does it take to become a big guy in Hollywood or the music industry? By knowing some like P. Diddy and doing all of this, then the doors are open to you. Welcome home, degenerate. With your degenerate brothers and sisters, we welcome you. I don't know what he did. I really don't want to make too many comments, but I mean, now a lot of them are complaining. Maybe it's just me. I find it hard. If you drugged me, you tortured me, and you forced me to, you would have to, you would be better off killing me. Because I will come back. And if I wasn't, didn't have a killer instinct, I would at least go to the cops and say, this is what they did to me. Do you want to say it now? All these years later? You became a big shot singer, a big name. You must have enjoyed it. I don't feel sorry for you. You sold your soul way back then. Don't cry about it now. When the shit's hitting the fan, don't start pointing. You should have been pointing right away.